Yakov Jugashvili was the eldest of Joseph Stalin's three children. Disregarded by Stalin, Yakov was a shy, quiet child who appeared to be quite unhappy and tried to commit suicide several times as a youth. Jugashvili studied to become an engineer, then, on his father's insistence, he enrolled in training to be an artillery officer. He finished his studies weeks before Nazi Germany invaded the Soviet Union. Jugashvili was captured on the 16th of July 1942 during the Battle of Smolensk. The Germans announced the capture of Jugashvili a few days later on the 19th of July. Stalin reacted negatively to the news. He had previously ordered that no Soviet soldiers were to surrender, so the idea that his own son had done so was seen as a disgrace. He was angry that Jugashvili had not killed himself instead of being captured. In an attempt to conceal his identity, Jugashvili apparently removed his officer's insignia and tried to pass as a soldier, though he was soon recognized and given to the Abwehr, the German military intelligence, for interrogation. During the interrogation, Jugashvili openly criticized his division and other units of the Red Army, saying they were unprepared for the war and further commented that military commanders behaved poorly. The Germans intended to use Jugashvili in their propaganda against the Soviet Union. He was moved to a guarded villa in Berlin, where Josef Goebbels, the Nazi propaganda minister, hoped to use him on a Russian language radio broadcasts. When that failed to materialize, Jugashvili was moved to the Sachsenhausen concentration camp. After German Field Marshal Friedrich Paulus surrendered at the Battle of Stalingrad in February 1943, the Germans offered to exchange Jugashvili for him. This was outright refused by Stalin. There was another proposal as well, with Hitler wanting to exchange Jugashvili for Hitler's nephew Leo Raubal, who was captured by the Soviets in January 1943, but this was not accepted either. On the 14th of April 1943, Jugashvili died at the Sachsenhausen camp. The details of his death are disputed. One account has him running into the electric fence surrounding the camp, however it was also suggested that he was shot by the Germans. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support my channel on PayPal. Details in the description box.